Oh snap, okay. That's cool. Is that the ventilation? So I don't know what's on the other side. Yes, it is cool. So that's about I mean it's a different story. Yeah. What the Imagine if this is a place of the little heat list near the city. And welcome to the channel. For today's adventure, we're going to go north to a place called Rittendale in Pretoria, where we found something so unique we just had to share it with all the All for Explore followers. Okay, guys, so we're in Pretoria at the moment, uh, visiting my brother Lionel. Hello, Lionel. Hello. Yeah, it's myself and the goose. Hey, goose. We went for a quick walk and just following up on the video that we did on the Van Staden's forts. We thought we'd share something else that we've discovered here in the rift of Rittendale. After seeing yeah. the video we did on the Van Staden's Fort in the Boer War, Lionel said to me there's something he wants to show me next time I'm in Pretoria to visit them. And you don't need to invite me twice to something like this. Going into this bunker for the very first time, myself and the goose, we don't really know what to expect. <laughs> mm. Okay, so here we have a little room. It's a memorabilia for, from a bit more recent times. So it's corrugated iron. And then Lionel, you say it's got cement over it. Yes. It's all back. It rusted away and then obviously it was left with the cement. Oh, snap. Okay. That's cool. What's this? A little crazy. hook? Yeah. Yeah, here's the join. Yeah. Here's just a. This is just a spider web. You can actually see it's like bowing a little. Ventilation shaft. Yeah. Is that the ventilation? Yeah. So it's suspected that this was a little shelter. A little Buddha shelter in the rift of Rittendale. And this was sort of a little hideout out of Pretoria because this is the main route from Pretoria to where? The main route from Pretoria to the north. So the story goes that Rittendale was a farm and a pit stop of sorts for all travellers travelling north out of Pretoria. There were stables for the horses and oxen, places for them to drink and travellers could sleep over here. With urbanization, the farm was broken up and it is told that some of the original farmhouse still exists on private property and a residential house now sits where the old stables used to be. This bunker is in close proximity to the other buildings, so we've assumed that it's somehow related to the original Rittendale farm, dating back to the 1800s. With no historical records of this bunker available to us, it's very difficult to verify anything. But there seems to be consensus among the residents in the area. So I don't know what's on the other side. Oh, there's another opening on the other side. So if someone discovered one of the openings and they wanted to attack whoever was inside, there would be an escape way. Hey Goose. Hey Lionel. Hi. So this, this, this room's probably been redone at some point. Yes, mm. uh, this has definitely been redone. I suspect that, that this room, the, the roof actually caved in. Oh. And they then took corrugated iron and, and rebuilt it. She's the most slim in here, babe. Mm. Same kind of fun. Okay, so let's go. Just mind your step. Mm. Cool. 
And how far underground do you think we are now? Um, probably about oh, two or three meters. What the? Was this, was that all funny? Can I tell you what I play? I think the candles might be a bit near. Mm. Uh, candles would be near. You don't know what the cash is. Yeah. Okay, what did you think of the spikers that you have to spend? It's obviously a fast game. What is this? This is paper. Like, this is paper. It used to be paper. Imagine if this place had a little hit list near the city. All the wanted Most posters. Most wanted, yeah. Yeah, they collected their own wanted posters. See, here's still like a chisel mark. Yeah. Like, look, all of these are. Yo. And the thing is that, from what I can see, this is all, it's clay. Mm. Mm. Just stay that way, huh? Yeah. You can see it's like a pick. They went in mm. with a pick and, yeah. like, mm. well, every single one of these little marks. That's how they, that's how they eventually go through. Go through. Another candle. You can see like the the, the black the soot from the candle. This almost looks like it's been patched. Mm. Maybe if you like uncover it now, you're gonna find a cougar. Yay! Over here. <laughs> here we got someone from 2003. Yeah. And then there's a what's a chip, Yopi. Who's Yopi? Goodness knows. Maybe Emil knows. <coughs> Emil. Ask Emil. <laughs> Down the bottom here. Yeah. yeah, it was another candle, but there's been like a little collapse there. Mm. There's yeah, the soot. Yeah, there's a... There's a long candle, but that's new. That's a fracture line there. Mm -hmm. Yo. So uh, this is basically where it starts getting a little narrow. Um, and... Yeah, they are exit. Is that open at the moment? I suspect that there is a bit of bug in villa that does grow up here. So, you just light up there. This is awesome. A little scary, but it's awesome. Hey, Chris. Well, I mean, <clears throat> if you want to hide an exit, this is the way to do it. The door has been cut specifically to fit over this exit. The door is like wide at the top, narrow at the bottom, just like the entrance. Yeah. Here's the Greater Rittendale area. <laughs> hey? At timestamp 1 minute 30 of this video, we were looking at the entrance to this bunker all along and we didn't even realize it. Where do you think they start? Yeah? And went down? Or? No, no I, just, up. I think I they went from the other side. That side. Up. See, this is also got corrugated iron. Yeah. Is this still here? Or is yeah, it? this is still corrugated iron. Ah, see. Not really. Yes, it is cool. <laughs> so you reckon this was just a hideout? I suspect that this was an like a little cache or store. Or I don't know if it was a, a cache or a store. It might have been. To keep um, things well, cool. More, more than a hundred years ago. Well, to keep things secret, I would yeah. tell. Come down. But you want to be a perfect mark on the pass. So. So that's about. It's at least three or four meters down from where you're standing right now. Yeah. So now I think the boss is that it's a store rust to keep things cool. Yeah. This remains the same temperature year round. Yeah. It's actually a good way to store things. Yes, yeah, so this door is amazing. Yeah. This definitely looks like it's 
It's an old door. It's a very, I think very let's, old door. Let's leave it at that before people destroy us in the comments. Yeah. Just say it's an old door. <laughs> well, I mean, even if this was dug afterwards, it's pretty cool nonetheless. And, um, Lionel, did you have anyone on a metal detector gefaltiert? Ah, Lenny and Spazagetti. This one also goes uphill, but not as much as the other. <clears throat> one last uninterrupted walk straight through the bunker so you can get an idea of the scale. As I've alluded to before, the theory is that this is a Boer War era construction from the late 1800s, but with no historical records available, the evidence is speculative at best. So if any of you viewers have any additional information, theories or corrections, please leave it in the comments below so that we can take a look and maybe even do a follow up video if we really got it wrong on this one. Regarding the location of this bunker, unfortunately it is located on private property and the owners don't want to make the location public knowledge. So if anybody really, really wants to see this bunker, please get in touch and maybe we can make it happen. No promises, but we'll see what we can do. Other than that, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.